Hello and welcome to the Worldly Bloke channel. In today's top tip, I'll show you how to enable D8 mode on your Tyrannis transmitter. If you've got an international Tyrannis radio, an X9D, X Lite, QX7 and so on, when you choose your binding mode, you will have the option to select D8, D16 and LR12. D8 is for the D-series range of receivers like the D4R. LR12 is for long range. And D16, the most common mode, is for the X-series receivers like RXSR, XM+, XR4SB and so on. But if you're in the UK or EU, D8 mode isn't available in this list. And until recently, this just wasn't an issue, because probably you just want D16. But with the arrival of the Crazy B F4, that's very popular for tiny whoops, D8 mode has made a comeback. And this F4 all-in-one flight controller supports D8 and D16, but it has the pesky issue that it will only bind in D8 mode. I've no idea why, but it's a fact. And you can check out the beta flight wiki down here for more info. And this hasn't changed with the newer version 3 that's just been released. So if you're in the UK, you're not going to be able to bind your Crazy Bee unless you make a firmware upgrade to the transmitter. Unfortunately, this is really straightforward. And don't worry, it won't stop it working with your other EU LBT receivers. Before we do any upgrading of firmware, the first thing we're going to do is back up this radio. Just in case anything goes wrong, we can revert to our backup and everything's safe. So if you download a copy of OpenTX Companion, which is now at version 2.2.4, and then grab your USB lead. Uh, if you remember well, how this used to work, you used to have to do this wacky combination of pushing the trim sticks in and pushing the on switch up. You don't have to do that anymore. It made things a lot easier. Just plug your USB connection in and you'll see it comes up and gives you a prompt to say, do you want to use this as a USB joystick, which you'd do if you're using a simulator, for example. But we're going to select USB storage. Let's press enter. There we go. And if we look in the OpenTX companion, the first thing to do is to read all the data off your radio into OpenTX companion. Go to rewrite and say read models and settings from radio. There we go. These are all the models that I've got. And then we simply want to select this option over here on the left, which says backup radio to file. So if you hit that, and I have a dedicated Tyrannis directory on here, and I just save it as a backup and give it a name. I'm not going to do that because I have done that before. The other thing you want to do is to back up your SD card. Now you can do that by selecting in Explorer or Finder and copying these onto your local machine, but that's really slow. It's far easier to just grab the SD card out of the back of your radio, pop it in your PC or your MacBook and just make a copy of it. It's much quicker. Now we're going to configure the options for the firmware that we're going to use to upgrade the radio. I've selected my X9D profile, as you can see here, and the build options that we want are no heli, that just simply leaves out some of the menus to do with helis. You want Lua to enable Lua scripts. You need Lua C, and that is a fix for script errors that you sometimes get when you are running Lua scripts on your radio must don't select EU and select the font if you use it and the other thing that I do to make sure that when I create a new model that the channels are in the correct order I run mode 2 but choose aileron elevator throttle and rudder that means you don't have to do any channel mapping for your roll pitch yaw and throttle now don't get confused just because I'm not ticking EU doesn't suddenly make this radio an international radio. It's still EU LBT, 
and that EU LBT is the version of the internal module that's connected to this. The listen before talk protocol is nothing to do with OpenTX. All we're doing by leaving the EU checkbox unchecked is to make sure that it enables D8 mode in the display. It's as simple as that. Once you've got those options, select OK. Now we need to download the firmware that we've configured and we've got OMTX, X9D, no heli, Lua, Lua C, the font and it's English. So we will just download the firmware. Choose the location for it. I have a special place for these and save it onto your local machine. Okay, that's done. You will also need the matching SD card contents. So go to download SD content, pick the latest one, which is August this year, download the zip file, unzip it and store it somewhere safe on your machine. To update the firmware on your radio, make sure that it is plugged in and it's turned off. If you turn it on, you will get errors. To flash that firmware onto your radio, go to this option down here, which is right firmware to radio. Just check that you've got the correct build version. That's all good. Check how so say right to radio. And here we go. Okay, good, that's finished. So that's the first part done. Next, you need to put the new SD card contents onto the SD card on your radio. And like I say, the quickest way to do this is to take the SD card out and just copy these files here over the top of the ones that are on your SD card. And there we are, you're good to go. So now we can disconnect our USB, turn the radio on, Welcome to Open TX. and just do a quick Open check. Angle. So long press menu and go to page five. And here we can see we've got version 2.2.4, which you remember was the same version that we actually had on the configuration that we had in the OpenTX companion. So that's all looking good. And you're ready to go. If you screw up, then you've got your backup that you can revert to. But this is all pretty easy and you shouldn't have any issues. And now you've got a transmitter that you can bind in D8 mode. As usual, thanks for watching. And if you found that useful, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if it's your first visit, then please consider subscribing to the channel for updates. I'll see you next time.